Yeah. Um, I mean, it's been a normal week. You know, every week I go in, I prepare um, as, I'm, as if I'm going to play. And I've been doing that since I got here to Detroit, and that hasn't changed. So, uh, you know, it was really a normal week. I mean, you know, we always, as a backup quarterback, there's always opportunity or there's always a chance you're going to get in the game. And, uh, you know, that's just been my mindset the whole time is, hey, you, you, you can be called on at any time and be ready to go. And uh, that's just been my mind since I've got here is uh, when I am called upon to, to be ready to go. When did they tell you you were going to play? That's the, that's the question. Did you know Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Today? Yeah, I mean, like, like, like I've been saying, um, you know, they've been telling me since I got here, be ready to go when you're called upon. And, uh, you know, I found out this morning when I got to the stadium. Um, so, yeah. Jeff, the opening drive, I know you'd like to have had a touchdown, but how important was it for you at least to go down and put some points on the board the first time? Yeah, it was huge. Um, to get a nice nice opening drive, obviously you want to, you know, end drives like that with touchdowns. And uh, that was disappointing that uh, we couldn't punch it in for a touchdown. But, uh, you know, ending it with a field goal is, is good too. And um, But, yeah, we, we got to – we got to capitalize on those opportunities when we get down there and score touchdowns because, uh, you know, that's that's the difference in winning and losing in this league. What did you think of your performance kind of overall? I mean, I thought I competed. You know, I thought I played played hard. Um, you know, I, I'm probably the most critical of myself. And, uh, you know, looking at that interception there in the red zone, put our defense in a tough spot um, after they'd been playing well, lights out all day. Um, but definitely made some plays. Uh, there's an op a lot of opportunity to improve uh, when we look back at the tape. But uh, overall, made some plays, but not enough to get it done today. Were you leaning on uh, Stafford at all during the game on the sidelines at all? I, mean, I think so. I think his presence is huge. He's uh, the unquestioned leader of his team. And, uh, you know, one of the toughest dudes that I've ever been around, most competitive people I've ever been around. Um, so, yeah, having his presence there was, was huge, not just for me, but for the whole team. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was awesome to have him there. And, uh, you know, he had my back just like uh, I have his back when he's out there. Did you get any sense for just how tough it might have been for him to, you know, be on the sideline for that whole game and, and have to play that role? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it was tough. You know, everybody wants to be out there competing on the field, and uh, he's done it for a long time at a high level. Um, don't know the exact number of starts that he's had in a row, but, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely up there. I think it's since 2011. Uh, he hasn't missed a start. So uh, it's just a, you know, testament to him as a person and a teammate and a competitor. You've been getting a lot of uh, reps in practice. Do you feel like you had a full grasp of everything when the game started? Yeah, I mean, we. I think uh, the staff does a great job during the week of, you know, sprinkling reps for, uh, you know, not just me, but everybody to, you know, to make sure that everyone's ready to go. Because, you know, there was a stat thrown out there. Over 50% of the league um, that started as backups this year have played. Um, so everybody in, everybody in that locker room is going to be called upon to play at some point. Um, and I knew that was going to be the case for me as well. And uh, just prepared all year long um, for when my time came. And, uh, but yeah, the, the reps during the week uh, definitely helped. It actually did the next you know, work out the way you wanted to. What was it like, what was it like leading that last possession with a chance to win the game, you know, running the offense and all that? No, I think the, uh, the awesome thing about that group in there is that we never flinch. Um, when you look at those guys in the huddle, um, you know, they're looking back at you with the same mindset that, hey, we're going to go score and we're going to go win this game. And I think we had that mindset the whole day. And unfortunately, we didn't make enough plays. But, um, you know, we got down there. We just, uh, you know, fell a little short today. Speaking of the final drive, I saw you shaking your head after the drop down pass. that kind of milked some time off and forced you guys to down the whole seven seconds. Is that one you kind of wish maybe you had back, not dropping that little one off that, that used those kind of 12, 13 seconds there at the end? That I didn't. What did, one that you completed real short. Oh, inbounds? Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, we had time. I wanted to keep the, keep the drive going. Um, you know, whoever was on, Kenny made a nice play of getting him down. Um, tried to put it out in front so he could stay on the move and get out of bounds. But, um, hey, that's, that's how it plays out sometime. The coverage that uh, we got there kind of dictated where the ball went. And I knew we had another play. And we did a nice job of getting up and killing it um, to give ourselves time for a shot at the end zone. Did you get a look at the interference call on Galladay? Did I get a, did get a look at that interference call at the third or fourth? I think it was fourth down that they interference call against Kenny? I didn't see it. Um, I, I didn't see it. You know, you get calls sometime. You don't get calls sometime. I, di I didn't see it. But uh, it was definitely it was definitely a tough one. Did a good job. Uh, JD extending the play and, and making himself self available for me. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, that one got called back. We weren't able to convert after that. How tough was the Bears defense? And what kind of challenges did they present to you today? 
Yeah, that's a really good group over there. Um, you know, starting obviously with their front. They have really good players up front, but I thought uh, I thought our offensive line did a nice job handling those guys for the most part. And um, you know, I thought we dialed up a plan to you know move around a little bit, get the ball out on time, so they couldn't pin their ears back. But uh, yeah, it's a really really tough defense. And um, you know, like I said, we came up short today. All right, thank you guys. Thank you.